Hi and welcome to Cashing Coins. Today I will discuss the price of silver and some articles that say about it. And an article that talks about how to win the silver game by beating them at their own game. I also want to show a nice silver coin that I did pick up from the Royal Australian Mint. Alright, let's get into it. Hi, and thank you for joining me here at Cash and Coins, where we talk about gold and silver. Well, today I found some really interesting articles about gold and silver. I just had to share them with you. And I did put all the links in the description. Well, first off, let's talk about the price of silver. As you see, it's just above uh, $28. Love it. And yes, I do keep stacking. I did buy this cheetah silver coin from the Royal Australian Mint. I really like the design. The quality of the coin is excellent. Now this is the second coin in the series. I didn't really like the first one. I'll show you a little picture here. It didn't look too, it didn't look too hot to me. But this one, I think it's nice. Hey, but if you like the first one, you know, that's okay too. Well, I'm also sharing you sharing with you some of my other coins with other cats on it. You know, mostly the big cats. All right, back into it. So talking about the price of silver, let's look at these articles I found. The first one is titled Gold Potential Escalation Until Midsummer. It really focuses on the potential gold has, but it stated something very interesting about silver. It starts like this, silver acting stronger than gold. Silver, as well as the Sprott Silver Trust PSLV and the iShares Silver Trust ETF SLV, on the other hand, were able to hold up somewhat better than gold during the entire correction since last August. Silver is stronger than gold. We love that. There are a lot of silver haters out there, so it's nice to hear something positive about silver. All right, let me go on to the next article. Let's, let me read this article about silver. And this was on Kitco. And I'm just taking little excerpts out of these articles here. And this one on Kitco says, Longer term, beyond the third quarter, we expect the silver price to rise. And by 2023-2024, we think it it could rise substantially based on strong investment demand. Now, if you watch my channel, you know I am into silver for the long haul. I keep reading article after article that silver is really going to make us some strong moves in the coming years. And this is due to the worldwide green movement, and I'll get into that in a minute where silver is in high demand, especially on the industrial side. And I will put a link uh, for this video that I saw also here on YouTube, but it's from Bloomberg. Um, it's about silver and its potential. So if you want to take a look uh, at it, it's called Why Silver Has the Edge Among Commodities. And like I said, this is from Bl Bloomberg. Now, you know, I'm not one of those believers in the get rich quick with silver, but I do believe that the prices will continue to rise with the customary dips that, you know, all commodities have, all stocks have. That's just the nature of the beast. And uh, this article is a really good, this next article is a really good read. I will link it too, but wow, it's packed full of information about silver and how the markets work, including manipulation. Here are some of the highlights. Silver chart book, silver market manipulation is your way in. And that title says it all, that they used manipulation to your advantage. The only chance to participate in a rigged game and come out ahead is beating them in their own game. The most secure way of participating in the silver market is to accumulate physical holdings, which is what I do. I don't play so much in the paper markets. Silver market manipulation is your way in. Market manipulation is as old as time. Now isn't that the truth? Complaining about it doesn't benefit but your ego. So work, work with it. And my approach is to buy physical silver and hold it as long as I can. And as I said, it's a good read. If you want to take a look, 
especially if you trade silver paper. I do it very little, but 99.9% .9 of my silver is physical silver. I'm in it like the silver bugs and the Wall Street silver apes. <laughs> yeah, the guys on Reddit. I love those Reddit posts. If you haven't gone there, you guys got to take a look at them. Uh, they are pretty cool. Now, this next article really, really dives deep into the history of current and the current manipulation of silver. If you have the time, give it a read and, uh, you know, read out some of the fluff that they always put in these articles. It does go all over the place at times, even, even goes into crypto. But nonetheless, let me read a little bit. It starts off silver and mining stocks continue to wait for next move. The spoofers await their fate goes on to say the London Metals Exchange the world's leading non-ferrous metal exchange is owned by a Chinese entity it's a it's a company in Hong Kong actually the practice of moving stockpiles on and off the exchange has manipulated prices for decades China is the world's China is the world's leading participant in the metals market Russia is a top commodity producer, as there are many other countries outside the U.S. and European regulatory and legal umbrella. Price manipulation in many forms, including spoofing, is the norm rather than the ex exception in many markets, and gold and silver are no exception. And it goes on to say, industrial investment in silver demand is rising in 2021. The green wave towards alternative energy supports silver as it is a critical ingredient in solar panels. Silver is a byproduct of other metal production. Shortages of copper and other base metals could weigh on silver supplies over the coming years. So they're saying if there's a shortage of one, since silver is mined with other metals, there's also going to be shortages in silver. Silver is the most volatile precious metal because it delivers the most substantial percentage price move when metal trends. Yeah, and that's all I wanted to read out of that article. And as I stated, this article covers a lot about silver. But as you see, the main thing is that silver is in great demand, whether as an investment or as an industrial metal. With or without manipulation, silver is on the rise. So yes, I'm joining the apes and the bugs and buying more and more silver. And it's blonde cousin gold. All right, well, you have reached the conclusion of another Cash and Coins video. I hope you do like, share, and subscribe. If you are a subscriber, hey, I really appreciate it. If you're just watching, hey, I appreciate you too. Now, if you could let me know in the comments, how do you see the short-term and long-term outlook for silver? Thank you again for watching, and as I always say, have a wonderful day, and I'll see you on the next video. Yeah, keep on stacking.